It is the end of times. Amazon has just released Honeycode and is the end of software engineering as we know it. Farewell, cruel world. Hey, what's poppin' everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about something sweet and I'm not talking about sugar. I'm talking about Amazon's Honeycode, which lets you build web and mobile applications without writing code, which seems really cool because normal people don't want to hire some software engineer to write a code. They just want to write it themselves, right? So this is not the first time that uh, a company is trying to create an application which aim, which the aim is to make something so that people can kind of create software without code. So there's oftentimes like different kinds of like apps and stuff like that where you can like make a make a front end while just like drawing something like on a piece of paper, which seems really cool. But I honestly don't know many people that actually use those kind of things. But maybe it'll be different with Amazon since you know Amazon. One of the largest, most influential companies in the world, and especially like they're a software company as well. It's doing, it's it's creating it. So of course, it's probably going to have at least some impact. There's probably going to be at least a couple businesses. I mean, at least a large some some businesses, some percentage is going to actually start using Honeycode to create the software without writing code. So what the impact will, of that will be is that. The software engineers won't be able to, won't be doing writing code. They're instead going to be using this kind of thing. But in reality, what I think is going to happen is that there are going to be more people that are going to be just not techni technologically like savvy, going to be building stuff instead of the software engineers. So on the page that Amazon published, I'll, I'll put in the description. They said that as long as you know how to work with kind of like spreadsheets and formulas. I'm, I'm thinking like Excel here, because that's what spreadsheets and formulas are most commonly used in. In fact, most high schools have a class on sp spreadsheets and formulas, at least my high school did, but maybe I was like, it was a good high school. I mean, it, it was probably a good high school, but I don't know if every high school has a class in Excel and spreadsheets. So pretty much anyone, of course, will be able to use spreadsheets and formulas as long as you like get the basics down. So you'll be able to work with Honeycode. So it should be pretty cool. So another thing that Honeycode will allow you to do is you're going to be allowed to make user interfaces with ease with Honeycode. So they have a bunch of different options, like you can put buttons on a screen without having to use the HTML for a button. So what's going to be the result of this? Like what's going to happen because of that? So this will, of course, will hit, hurt front end developers because front end developers are kind of like, I would say the most common since out of like many developers because kind of everyone wants to make a website, right? Every company needs a website. Well, not every company needs like a back end for services. Some companies just need like a landing page to show you like some contact information and stuff like that. So this is of course gonna hurt front end developers a little bit. So people who will build applications with libraries like React and Angular are gonna be hurt a little bit depending on how big Honeycode will get. And I don't I don't think it's gonna get that big, but we'll see. So you can create stuff like buttons, lists, forms with user input, with ease with Honeycode, which kind of like simplifies the process. And it seems like it will be really useful, like for startups that don't want to hire a software engineer to just like build like a simple form. Like that kind of seems like a waste, especially when software engineering like salaries are so high right now compared to like most other jobs. It would just be easy to just you know make it yourself, right? So they might make it easier with Honeycode, but it'll, there'll always be more customizability with writing the code the traditional way with React or Angular or whatever kind of software you want to use. So with that being said, let's take a look at Honeycode. Before I uh, look at Honeycode, though, I do want to say to make sure to triple click that like button for your YouTube algorithm, as it'll help me a lot. I did a lot of research on this. And by I did a lot of research with this, I meant that I signed up for it. Woo! So much research. <laughs> All right, so I just signed up for Honeycode. It is, of course, in beta right now because it was just released two days ago. So we're on the front lines of here. I, I don't even know what's going to happen when I click next. So let's try. Continue to sign in. Oh, OK. Oh, I'll enter my email address then. All right, now we are in to Honeycode. So they have flexible, connected, collaborative. So of course, this is all in beta. So this might be looking to change, but it looks like it has a pretty nice user interface. Um, it has a cool little modal looking thing here. And it's very clean. So this is not on AWS. So I had to like make a new account for this. So make apps that work for any size, team, task, or project. So they're assuming like teams can work on this. So that's cool. What else do they got? So you can build a custom launch planner. 
I'm not really in sh oh, oh, so like to ev oh, okay, to pl plan events. Okay. Approval workflows. Look at this. You're doing accessibility here. I guess that that's what they're trying to say here. Okay. That sounds cool. So customize and automate any way you like. Okay, so it looks like you can kind of like drag and drop things to like automate different things on the web page, it looks like. So builder and automations make app building simple. So I guess they're trying to make this all very simple here. So your data is live. So your team is always in sync. So, okay. So like if something updates something like on the page, I guess your team will always will immediately be able to see it. There's no eventual consistency. So they hold all the data. So there's one common source of truth. Okay, that sounds cool. Let's, I got it. I don't have any workbook for app yet. Okay, let's create a workbook. That's probably the most simple thing to do. We can, we can help. Oh, we can drag this around. That's cool. Create a workbook. Okay, there's my team. Okay, so I guess you can create teams. And right now I'm the admin. So you can import a CSV. You can use a template or start from scratch. I don't have any of those, so I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, OK. By the way, I should probably mention that I didn't have to put my credit card at all to enter this site. So like this is completely free. So I got like this far. It's completely free. And I must say, this looks a lot like Excel and kind of like Google Docs, at least this far. So the tables will hold my data. So let's show me. So I guess they'll try to give you like a tutorial on Excel. You can apply custom formats. That's cool. And then, oh, okay. So I guess we can name our table. So like subscribe will be the name of table. <laughs> so I guess well, this is very similar to Excel. So you put like stuff here, like column one, you can name like potatoes. We have a bunch of potatoes and we're trying to make a website about how many potatoes we have. This guy has one. This, this guy has a million potatoes. All right, that's cool. But where do we uh where do we design the site? This is just like um this is just kind of like Excel. It's, it's interesting, but um builder. Oh, this is probably it. Okay, so I guess we create an app. Use app wizard. Yeah, why not? Make apps from tables in just three steps. Ba 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 ba. Choose a source table. Create your screens. Okay. So we just we created a table there about potatoes. Preview your, preview your app. See it build and change. Customize data and more. Add screens. Edit and settings. Okay. That sounds useful. Voila! It's magic. You have a app that millions of people use. It's just that simple, right? This seems really cool. Like it's very smooth. Or at least this video. Um, can I can I go? Oh, next. Uh, start here. Oh, I have to choose a table. Oh, I don't have a table, do I? Oh, I do have a table. Okay, so I guess it'll make this table. It's kind of like they're trying to trying to like use a database here. Oh, there's the potatoes I had earlier. Nice. Okay, so this is a good table. Table details. So. Um, okay, so if I had more rows, this would be useful. Let's go next. I, I want to see like what the end result is going to be, really. So, table, okay, so this is a form. Okay, I see. So people can go to the site and just like enter like how many potatoes and stuff like they want, which could be useful if they're like trying to sell some stuff or something like that. I'm, there's already a lot of like sites for e-commerce, so I don't think they would want to do something like that. So view app, let's let's see it. Let's see our potato app. Okay, this is pretty clean. Like this is just like took a minute to make, and then so we have uh, potatoes. We can search. Let's see what does search do. Okay, that's really cool. It's just it's just it's, it's just like Excel. All right, so I guess this is the database. So let's see if we can add something. So let's see for column. Let's see, we want to add something like negative 5 million, 500, negative 500 potatoes. So like we owe you potatoes. And we can do like 7, 11. Done. Oh, it's just like Excel. Oh my god, this is great. This is very easy to use, I must say. Um, I'm not sure where to go from here, though. All right, so I went back to the main page. And so we were on the tables, and we made the builder for the app. Uh, oh, make apps with builder. OK. Uh, so I just added like a couple more columns and stuff. So I guess this is like a bunch of different stuff you could make with it. 
So then there's also automations. I wanted to try this, though, because that seems really cool. So make it easy for reminders, data updates, create automations. You can do that for you. OK, show me. So you can add triggers. So I'm assuming once something gets added to the table, you can kind of like send an email or something when key data changes. And then hit publish as soon as your audit. OK, let's try it. So row added or deleted. Yeah, that sounds like a very useful thing. So it, or maybe date and time reached. So maybe like once a date is time is really reached, you want to like make changes to the table for like updates. That could be useful. All right, so let us try to add something. So when a row is added, uh, so a row when, when it's added, we can do like a, an action. So maybe we can do notify me. We can add a row. Wait, delete a row. Whoa. That's strange. Why would you want to delete a row? I guess there's probably a reason. You could overwrite something, update, or insert row. OK, so I think notify is probably a good one. So we can enter our email. We can get a subject message. OK, I'm not going to actually do this because I don't want to get emails from people <laughs> telling me to do something. But I can see how that could be useful. So overall, I think this is a very novel kind of like experience to like make an application. I, I would say that it's, it feels kind of like simple right now, but I haven't like looked at all the like the extra features like that and all the like extra options. But of course, I it, I don't think it's going to be the complete end of all software engineers. Like people still have to make stuff. There's machine learning. This doesn't have anything to do with machine learning. So <laughs> so it's not the end of all software engineers just quite yet. But I will say it does look pretty pretty promising, and this is only in beta beta. Did I say beta? I'm not British. But you can share it, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So I look forward to seeing the future of this and to see more uses out of it. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.